old thing about uh, give them an inch, they'll take a mile, it's often rewritten in our modern parlance to be a form of the slippery slope fallacy in discussions. But as I've said before on this show, it's important for us to realize that the whole slippery slope isn't always a fallacy. In fact, increasingly, it seems less and less like one in most conversations going on. Valrico, Florida. Let's go there. Pack the bags of your mind and be sure to include the sunscreen and the flip-flops. We're going to uh, Florida, folks. Grace Christian School. They're coming under fire for their recent announcement that they not only won't be referring to school kids by anything other than their correct gender pronouns, but in fact, that if any of the kids in their school are leading and uh, an open and active homosexual lifestyle, they're going to be asked to leave. Now, the same goes for school kids leading an open and active heterosexual lifestyle. So let me be clear on that. Uh, I'm guessing that part won't get a lot of the press attention. Now, here's where that whole inch and mile thing comes in. Because some of the people in this country, maybe a majority, they've sort of had it in their mind for the past several decades that if you allow the left's agenda to exist right out in the open, uh, it will not come just barging into the place that you create for yourself. I mean, why not allow gay marriage if there's never going to be a time when your church is forced to perform a gay wedding, for example? And if the world worked that way, I'd probably agree with that line of thinking, but unfortunately, uh, it does not, uh, as is evidenced <clears throat> by how much of a ruckus this whole thing is stirring up. So this is a private school, and ostensibly the people who make up its school board, if that's even the system they're using, I don't know, they're pretty much entirely in charge of who gets to attend there and who does not. Uh, absent certain violations of established civil rights law, they have the freedom of association granted by the Constitution to all Americans, and they can allow or disallow certain behaviors as they see fit. Uh, you see, the idea behind this is that if you aren't allowed to go to one school in this country, you can go to a different one. So my right to association doesn't abrogate your right to seek an education someplace else. Seems simple, right? Uh, but let's be honest, it isn't as if you can exactly swing a dead cat around pretty much anywhere in this country right now without hitting a school district that's plenty woke enough to accept your little blue-haired zeer for whatever it thinks it wants to be. Now, this private school is making a stand for what it believes in a time that's really difficult for people whose beliefs run counter to the increasingly different standard. And I, for one, want to salute them for it because, let's be real, they're taking and will be taking a lot of crap going forward. They're going to be mocked. Yes, they are. But it won't surprise me a bit if they're also litigated against to the fullest extent of the law. And uh, they're in Florida, so maybe that won't be as bad as it could be elsewhere. But it isn't going to be a picnic. I mean, that's for sure. Folks, the fact that even private schools like this are coming under such fire does nothing but underscore what I've been telling you for years. <laughs> you ready for it? You ready for it? You know what I'm going to say. Get your kids out of public schools, folks. Get them out of public schools. Hell, make sure the private school you're putting them into is like this one in Florida. Make sure these schools where your kids go stick to their principles.